crap. Now oh, that's the car doctor. Man, I'm so glad it's not hot outside today because I don't have time for this. I really don't. I'm sitting outside a church in front of a hot box looking car. Man, this car trying to get me to go to jail, literally. Police pull up in this, so I'm like, uh, I don't know, just take me. <laughs> Anywho guys, this is what's going on. Um, took it down the street just to test it. I wasn't going far. I was probably just gonna turn around in this church parking lot anyway, but notice no power. The engine purrs like a kitten. Transmission completely shot. This customer explained to me he wanted to take this car to Florida this weekend. Let's just, let's just take a look at it. And right out of the comments and let me know what you guys think. I'm, I have no comments. So first off, Look like it was in a terrible accident. Terrible body work done. Come check this out. Oh my gosh. Uh, somebody like welded the front back together and it's like open wires everywhere. Um, yeah, bad tires, bad body work throughout the whole car. Like this car just been beat on its whole life. I like to call these orange peelings. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but probably not. No, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> it look like orange peelings. Like I said, bad tires. You can tell us definitely this is a giveaway. They didn't take their time and they just painted over the emblem. Spare tire went flat. So, <laughs> Yeah, parts inside the car. Oh, this is funny because I actually had to just remove this to drive the car. They just had the airbag just sitting up here like this. So apparently the airbag, the, the airbag blew when they got into an accident. And the funny thing is, don't tell nobody. It's not even the right airbag. Like, you can't connect this. It's like, and it don't even fit. It's, it's not a flush fit, so. My guess is they got it from a Civic. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's try to get this thing back to the shop so I can call the customer because I do not mess with transmissions. I can replace them for you, but hey, that's Alex Kryptonite. I don't diagnose, I don't repair transmissions. I replace and I change the fluid for you. That's it. All right, I think we need to go get the pusher car. Pusher car what, 4.0? I keep destroying the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me get you a ride. All right, baby. Guys, meet Jenny. She's on her way to the scrap yard, <laughs> but we're going to use her until she becomes a toaster or a refrigerator or something. <laughs> <laughs> It'll crank up. Yeah, like somebody already been pushing this car. Look at that back bumper. Yeah, might be pushed again. shop quick backstory on this car when I first received this car I'm not even gonna get my comments because they're mean um but it didn't start and it all started with it went in noticed the mobilizer light was on and I told the guy we got to start off with the key program program the key fired right up it was running really crappy um so the first thing I did was check the mass airflow sensor had all kind of cobwebs and crazy stuff in it. Cleaned the cobwebs, purring like a kitten, as you saw. Did they see? Let's crank it up and see. Oh, all right. So the engine sounds really good. Um, I think I had to fix a wiring, a, a wire, because I guess the accident was so bad it's smashed and broke the harness so I fixed that and 
Next thing I had to do was take a test drive and you see where that got me. 30 seconds down the road and probably not even 30 seconds, probably about 10 yeah, seconds down We the were road. just there at that church right there. 10 seconds down the road and she just stopped pulling. My wife antennas was on because something told me to come stand right there and bam, it broke down. Look at that, look at that. So. Don't be trying to not get in the <laughs> Yeah, guys, write down the comments. Tell me what you think, what you guys think he should do with this car. Very interested to see what you guys say. So, let me go call the customer and see what he wants to do. If he decides to get this transmission replaced, this will go down in my history book. Like I said, I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to say history book of what. <laughs> While we're talking about Honda Accords, this one right here is he started it off. Good old 85. I saved her from the junkyard. Uh, they don't make them like this no more. And this is actually my daily driver. I prefer unique low key cars. Some people think this is a Mercedes. And I've had people call this car kind of stuff. I'm like, it clearly has a Honda badge on it. But that just show how unique it is. Let me know if you guys still seeing these run around. Drop down in the comments and uh, let me know if you still see these things on the road. This body style. For the record, I hate this car. <laughs> hey, oh, I gotta show you how clean it is. It was three hundred dollars. Look how clean that is. This car is mint. And who cleaned it? My brother. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> he does everything for his baby brother. But I hate that car. Oh man. Call the Honda guy. Hey, buddy, how are you doing today? Oh, good, man, good. Your car gave me an adventure this morning. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, as you probably already heard, you got something going on with your transmission. And um, like I tell everyone, I'm no transmission expert, so uh, I won't know what's going on. But engine-wise, you know what I had everything to do with? Engine-wise, she's purring like a kitten. Uh, sound good, crank up. Yeah, you're um, right about that. Uh, nope. All right, sounds good. All right, take care, buddy. All right, yeah, I think he wants to talk to you. It looked like uh, we're gonna yes, send it off to the transmission shop. Uh, so there you have it, good people. If you want to put a transmission in it, just call Emco and it's gonna be their problem. <laughs> Until next time, good people. Alex the Car Doctor out. See you on the next one. <laughs>